Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to display the labels of your posts in your Blogger website. So here after the heading, we will display all the labels and whenever we click on any of the label, all the posts related to that label will be displayed over here. And then we can go into any of these posts and then read the post. But first of all, let me show you what is a label. So if you go to the Blogger dashboard, we can see that these are the two posts in our website and these two are the labels of this post so this post called the second post has these two labels blogger and technology in the same way we have this post called test and it has these labels of technology and tips and tricks so whenever we click on the technology label both these posts will be displayed because both of these posts have this technology label inside them and if you click on the blogger label or the tips and tricks label each of these individual posts will be displayed. So I hope that you understood what a label is and uh, how it works. So let me also show you how to add a label to your post. So if I click on this post, we can see that on the right hand side, we have this option called labels. And uh, in that we have two labels separated with a comma. So you can add a label by just adding a comma and uh, then typing a word over here. So that will become a label for our website. So we have in total three labels in our website and we'll be displaying them just after the header. So let's get started. Now adding a label is pretty simple. You can just add a widget and place it just after the header. But we'll also style it so that it looks just the way we want it to look. So let's go to the dashboard and uh, we'll go to layout and these are all the widgets in our theme. So first of all, let's go ahead and click on add a gadget. And here we can find a list of all the gadgets we can add into our website. So the one we have to look for is called labels. So here it is. Just go ahead and click on this plus icon. And this is the gadget. So we can name it whatever we want over here. This will be displayed as the heading. Let me just change it to tags because I think the term tags is uh, more common than labels. And then we have these options of showing all the labels or we can even show selected labels. And then we can sort them alphabetically or by frequency. And uh, we can set the display to list or cloud. Let's just set it to cloud. And then we also have the option of showing the number of posts that are related to this label. Let's check that also and we'll click on save. So here's our gadget. Now we have to add it just below the header. So let's drag it from here and add it right after the header. And after that, let's click on save to save this layout. And our layout is saved. Now let's go over here to our website and let's refresh our page. So here we can see we have the label, it is called tags and when we click on that, we can see the labels are being displayed over here and also the number of posts with that label. Right now it is not visible clearly because of the color of the text and uh, the background. So let's add some styling to make it look better. So right click over here and click on inspect. This time we will have a different approach of styling because uh, we don't have the markup of this design so we cannot do it in VS code or any code editor. So we have to do it right here in the inspector. So let's go ahead and uh, first of all, select the widget. So this is the widget. And uh, this is where we can add styles to this selected element. So let's click over here and let's add some styles. First of all, let's set a background color of dark gray. And uh, we'll also set the text align to center. Alright, let's also give it a margin of 24 pixels and we'll also give it a border radius of uh, 24 pixels. Alright, these are the styles we need for the label. So let's copy these from here and uh, let's go to our dashboard and we'll go to theme and then click on customize and then we'll go to advanced and then click on the first drop down and select add CSS. And let's see whether we have a class or an ID for this widget. So let's open the inspector. And here we can see we have a class of widget and label. 
So let's target the label class over here. So we'll type dot because it is a class and we'll type label and we'll paste all the styles over here and then close the curly braces. Now we can see that the styles are being applied. I will also change the color of this heading. So let's go to the inspector and here we can see for the heading we have an S3 tag. So let's target that over here in the CSS. We'll type dot label S3 and we'll set a color of the text to FFEB3B. All right, now let's save this. And let's go to our website and refresh our page. And we can see that the styling is being applied. Now we'll also set a styling to this SVG icon. So if you right click over here and inspect, we can see it is an SVG and it is inside the label. And we'll give it some padding right so that we'll have a spacing to the right. So let's go ahead and here we will type label SVG and uh, we will type padding right of 16 pixels right now it looks fine so let's save this now when we click on this heading we can see all the labels are being displayed over here now let's target the container of these uh, labels so inspect and uh, if we scroll up we can see that this is the container division now let's add some styling over here so click on that element and uh, then go to this element dot style and uh, let's add some padding to the bottom so we'll type padding bottom of 16 pixels and uh, to the right we will have a margin because of the icon all the content is moved a little to the left so we have to compensate for that now let's select the icon and see what is the width so we can see we have a width of 40 and a height of 24 so we will set a margin right of negative 40 to compensate for the spacing so let's select this and uh, we will add a margin right of negative 40 all right now we need to copy this uh, two lines of css to our blogger customizer so first of all let's copy this uh, class name from here and we'll go to our blogger customizer and here we will type label dot cloud label widget content and we'll just copy these two lines of CSS and we'll paste it over here let's save it and let's see whether it works all right the styling is being applied now let's add some styling to these anchor tags so we will select that we we'll style the span so the span is outside the anchor tag so let's select that and here we already have some styling for the span so let's change some values over here we will change the color to fc 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 and uh, we'll remove the border and the border radius is fine we also have the display to inline block that's also fine now we'll change the margin to 0 for top 19 pixels for right 4 pixels for bottom and 0 for left and we'll also change the padding so we'll change the padding to 6 pixels top and bottom and 20 pixels left and right we'll also change the color of the text to 242424 and the color is not being applied i think we need to specifically target the anchor tags for that so for now we'll just copy the other styles so first of all let's copy this selector and uh, we'll paste it over here and uh, let's copy these uh, lines of css all right let's save it and uh, let's refresh our page and we'll also change the color of this text so we'll target the anchor tags for that this is the selector for the anchor tags so let's select that and copy it and we'll paste it over here and we'll change the color of the text to 242424 and we can see that the color has changed now the last thing to style is uh, the count of posts so if you go to the inspector and uh, let's just select that 
and here we can see we have a class called label count and in that we have a before selector and an after selector so these before and after selectors are the parentheses now in our styling we don't want these parentheses we will just add this uh, count inside a circle so first of all let's get rid of the before and the after selectors so we'll go over here and uh, we'll just copy this selector and uh, paste it over here and then we'll type colon colon before and then paste it once more and type colon colon after and uh, here we'll just type display of none and then just save it and now we can see that the parenthesis is not visible now we'll style the label count so this is the label count let's go over here and add some styling we'll set a background color of dark gray and uh, we'll set the color of the text to light gray we'll set a border radius of 50 percent and uh, we'll set a padding of 0 pixels and 5 pixels and we'll also add a margin left of 8 pixels so let's add the styling first of all let's select uh, the selector and uh, we'll copy and paste it over here and uh, we'll just copy these styles and paste it over here and let's refresh and see whether everything works all right all right so we can see that the tags are working and the post count is also being displayed over here now if we scroll down and if we scroll up we have this problem over here where the styling is not correct so what we'll do is we'll set a minimum width to our label widget so let's go to the customizer and uh, let's go to label and uh, here we will type minimum width of 500 pixels and save it all right now when we scroll up we can see we don't have any problems and the styling is all right now let's click on any of these labels and see whether it works so let's click on technology and we can see two of our posts are being displayed let's click on blogger and we can see one post is displayed which is related to the blogger tag now let's go inside one of these posts and uh, here also we can see the tags now if you don't want the tags to be visible on uh, a post page then you can add a CSS over here so let's right click over here and click on inspect and uh, let me show you one thing in the body we have different classes for different pages so right now we are in the post and we have this class called item dash view now if you go to the home page we can see we don't have the item dash view class so we can take advantage of the class and we can remove the tags from the item dash view class so let's go over here to customizer and uh, here we will type body dot item dash view so when we have this item dash view class to our body then we don't want to display the label so we'll type dot label and uh, here we'll type display none so let's save it and see whether it works all right let's go ahead and click on one of these and uh, let's click on this post and now we can see when we are on a post we cannot see the labels but when we are on the home page we can see the labels and uh, everything is working all right so that's basically it for this video this is how you add labels to your blogger website so if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day